Hi, I'm Harvey and today I'm going to talk to you about how I started my own business whilst I was still at school, just like you. My journey into the world of freelance and enterprise started in 2013 when I founded my own company, Harvey Morton IT Support, while I was still at school. I started my first business through a school enterprise competition called The Big Challenge where teams from schools and colleges across the Sheffield City region got £25 to start up a business and it was about seeing who was most successful after two school terms. Teams could win prizes and after winning various awards in the competition, I decided to continue my business while juggling my GCSEs and A-levels. And I'm proud to say that I managed to forge a successful business and develop a fantastic reputation with clients throughout the UK and further afield. So today I, I, I started out doing IT support and that quickly evolved into marketing and web design and um, because I found that that's what I enjoyed more over doing computer repairs. So I currently run a digital marketing agency called Harvey Morton Digital, primarily working in social media management. So I will um, create content and manage social media pages on behalf of other companies. I've worked with lots of big brands including Alton Towers, Santander, Sheffield Hallam University and then other smaller businesses and enterprises in the Sheffield City region as well. And there's so much I love about my job from getting to create fantastic social media content for small businesses and big brands and creating new websites for businesses and helping them grow their online presence too, especially over lockdown that's been really rewarding for me to help businesses to be able to get online. And I'm lucky enough that my job has created lots of media and speaking opportunities for me. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have been featured on BBC News, Radio 1, um, Radio 2, um, Capital FM and also in the Sun newspaper. Now marketing is a great opportunity for people who want to capture the public's imagination. You can expect your day to be quite varied and that often involves lots of planning and, and content writing um, but also networking and actually promoting products and services for companies as well. Now recent labour market information um, says that you can earn between 18 and 35,000 a year as a marketing executive and I'd say that is true of my own experience. Um, your starting salary can vary quite a lot because of factors um, like level of experience, training, location and your salary as a marketing executive is likely to um, grow over time as you build skills, knowledge and experience. You'll need lots of great skills, including great written and verb verbal communication skills. You'll need to have a creative approach, so you must be quite a creative person. Team working is also important because I work on my own, but I often work as part of larger teams on projects as well. Having self-confidence in your own ideas and enthusiasm and motivation to help a campaign succeed. You also need good personal presentation too. I often have to get up and deliver pictures to big brands. And good organisation planning and IT skills are important too because you'll be scheduling content and writing um, social media promotions for clients on a da daily basis. Now I'd say that for most marketing jobs you just need to focus on getting um, 5 GCSEs with equivalent grades of 9 to 4 which is A star to C back when I was at school. 
Um, and English is the most important subject, so I took English language at, at A level and then went on to university to do business and enterprise management at Sheffield Hallam. And it's also, well, while it's not a requirement, I'd recommend that you have previous retail experience or sales experience because this can really help or if you enjoy writing then it might be a good idea to start a blog or look at what shadowing work experience you can do. So qualifications you can get range from uh, doing a university degree in business or marketing or doing a BTEC in advertising, communications, business or English and I didn't know that the options I chose in school would lead me to what I do now. It's just kind of happened quite naturally and I love my job. Um, but I'd say out of all the skills, you know, English is the most important. My task to you today is to create two social media posts for a new business that's opening in Sheffield City Centre. It's a hair salon, they primarily want to attract both men and women and it's a high-end salon so you need to focus on using luxurious um, language to sell the salon. Um, but think about um, the types of social media networks you, that you would use to promote a hair salon to. Um, so think about, for instance, Twitter is and, and LinkedIn are primarily business networks. So how could the hair salon use Instagram, TikTok to get new clients in um, and Facebook too as well? So yeah, create two social media posts for a new hair salon in Sheffield City Centre that's targeting young people and want to attract both men and women.